Hello, children and neophytes alike. I'm going to <clears throat> preface my uh, unboxing video. I ended up fangirling a little too hard, and I will be cutting it off at the point in which I say that I'm going to come back within an hour and uh, give my first impressions. It, as you could tell, no gloves. This is a couple of days later. I wanted more time because I was a little too batshit crazy. I'll just admit to it. And I don't want to come off as hypey. This is planar. I like the way planar sounds. So the long and short of this is that the unboxing uh, begins at... Uh, the original recording was somewhere in the range of 12 or so minutes. So uh, skip to approximately 14 minutes, maybe 13, 14, 15 minutes, uh, somewhere in that range. Uh, after I'm done editing everything, I will do my absolute best to remember to put in a time code within the description for you, so it's far more accurate than just relying on me pre-recording this before I go into Vegas and edit it. But uh, just so you know, I get a tiny bit emotional because it's not always that I receive such good things. I've always lived by the moniker of prepare for the worst, expect the worst, hope for the best, and the best has happened to me. I'm very fortunate in this particular time. Even though I paid for all of it, I still feel extremely fortunate for the outcome. So, without further ado, let's get to the beginnings of my unboxing. Thank you for watching. I'll see you all soon here in what will be a few hours. I'm going to do my first impressions along with some game time that I've spent with it. Because musically they're great, but some people like to game with IEMs. And my, all my other planars game really well, so I need to check on how these work. I will also in the future be changing up my mic scenario. I've been given some feedback, and I want to make good on their advice, so I want to see if I can change it up a little bit. So, let's get to it. Welcome back, my favorite children. We have a new goodie today, fresh off the press. And to me, from good old China. Well, it's not exactly the plastic bag. It came in the plastic bag from DHL. Yes, those people. Why is the bag inside out? Because I couldn't get the shipping information off and nor could I find my duct tape. What came in the bag? Ta-da! Oh. Oh, Lord. That, that vantage point is not going to work. Let's go the other direction. Let's go up fast. There we go. Sorry for the jitters. Doing a really quick unboxing for you children today. I thought I would be nice and hold off for a little while and not listen to my brand new toy that I pre-ordered. No. Instead, I decided to be most kind to my beloved viewers, as few of you as there are. I still think you'll deserve something a bit more. So, I'm attempting to offer that. Offer what, uh, more... The wrong direction again, Farsal, good job. Let's just, let's just bump around the camera. Yes, let's bump around the camera and make all the viewers sick. Blah. Oh, God. Okay. So, Doggo is in the room. You may hear her from time to time. I've turned my wonderful life-giving fans and AC in it off. I suffer for my arch children. I'm a wizard. It's what we do. So. In this box is a toy. For me, it's a toy. Let's get it open, shall we? Mm. Wish you could have gotten that on camera, huh, old boy? 
Yeah, I guess. Yes, I do. Sharp knife. Sharp knife does whatever a sharp knife does. Does it cut? Yes, it does. Has it bitten me? Oh, God, yes. Uh, now, before I open the box, I'm going to make sure that there's nothing particularly sensitive in there that might uh, identify me, for those of you that don't personally know who I am. Because, yes, I'm one of those guys that hold my channel out to my friends. Because they're friends, and that's what friends are for. Well, I'll be damned. Old girl did it. And I actually don't, I don't know if she's old or young, to be quite honest. Uh, one moment. I'm going to pause the video and cover up the, uh, incriminating, I suppose, or self-identifying information. I'll be back momentarily, children. These are from the parent company, Lin Soul. The daughter company, or at least in association with them, is now called Tin Hi-Fi. These are their brand new 10mm planar magnetic in-ear monitors, the P1. This is their first foray into planar magnetic headphones, or I guess in this case, in-ear monitors, or IEMs. I happen to frequent the Discord for Linsoul to stay up to date on the beginnings of this pre-pre-order period. And there was a lovely person there. She knows who she is, and I'm going to refer to her by name because you can find her in the Discord. She is part of Linsoul proper, the actual company. Now, I have blinked my name out. Someone was a cheeky little dick waffle. Sorry, Lillian. In the Discord. Because this poor woman was working left, right, center, non-bloody stop to help the customers out. Helping to apply for those of us that qualified and were able to get it in time. The discount for the early bird as well as ensuring that the early, early or super early bird, Piotr people, got their free cable. Someone said, I would really like you to sign something and put it in there so we can have proof of you, Lillian, for doing such a wonderful job for us customers. She said, sure, I'll go ahead and do that. And a couple of people jumped in and said, hey, I want something too, I want something too. I sent the lovely Lillian a DM, uh, requesting if the offer was still on the table to have a little something signed. Nothing terribly important. Uh, by now, those of you that have droned me out, as I drone on on, on my own, uh, have read it already. I have medical adhesive taped and red sharpied on top of the adhesive tape, obviously. I'm not going to destroy my goodie. Hi. That was my name there. Music is my... <clears throat> is my higher power. I want we can pass the magic of music to you. Hope your life is full of color. Lillian from Lin Soul. She was even so beautifully kind enough to add big surprise. This is a $15 credit for your next order contact us to get details of it. Lillian, I am going to send you a link to this video. I will be ordering something additional as soon as I get the capital for it. Unfortunately, life happened, so I won't have the capital for a couple of pay periods. But you can be sure that I will most certainly make use of Lin's soul. Ah, the other side of the postcard is quite lovely. Very simple, very simple. In the day of grief, be mild. Merry days will come. Believe. And I am a believer of that. I live by the, the creed, prepare for the worst, hope for the best, and may the powers that be sort out the rest. 
come as a fickle thing in my life, I'll be absolutely honest. And before I go off into the doldrums of my own terrible existence, I'm sure you would all love to see you the inside of this, for those of you that haven't already, or are just waiting for my input, because y'all are wonderful friends. Both ones that I have made and ones I have yet to make. Lillian from Linsoul, I feel I must address you first. You are one of the most wonderful customer service representatives, not because you gave me a discount. Far from it. I wasn't asking for a discount. I was asking for just a little signed post-it note or something so that I could keep it and remember what it's like to receive attention, love, and affection. And from somewhere people want to just throw hell on. These came from Hong Kong, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, one moment, you know what, I'll check the bag to be 100% certain. Yes. Hong Kong. I'm not going to attempt to pronounce the rest of it. My, uh, well, probably man, no, uh, probably Cantonese. Mandarin is Taiwanese language. Uh, that, my overarching Chinese dialect is horrible. But I just wanted to let you know, I didn't ask for a discount. My children, I asked for something to commemorate a wonderful achievement in customer service. No matter where you get it from this world, the globe, although awfully tiny, is still a wonderfully large and beautiful place. And this is the icing on the cake. Thank you, Lillian, for being a wonderful, wonderful, wonderful person, above all else, above being a customer service representative, you're a wonderful person to go a step above to add something extra, even though I didn't ask for it and I wasn't expecting it. She told me she also added another goodie. I don't actually... Oh my goodness. Lillian, you're a sweetheart. <laughs> Oh, my goodness. I now have another two and a half millimeter balanced connection. Uh, I'm sorry, children. I'm, I'm actually... I'm actively trying very hard to keep my composure and, and stay within the realm of fossil. <laughs> She included not just a wonderful postcard and, and a, a gift, but she also, uh, the gift of the discount, but she also added one of their premium cables. Thank you. Thank you so much, Lillian. That's, that's very kind of you. This means a lot to me. Uh, I'm sorry, you're gonna have to give me a moment. I'm gonna pause the video, children. And we're back. I'm terribly sorry. It's 11 minutes in. Now, that actually did choke me up a little bit. I needed to get some nicotine and some water to calm down. I just, I wanted something to commemorate wonderful customer service, and she went above and beyond, giving me something additional. Thank you so much for this gift. It really does mean the world to me. Children, we're about 12 minutes in. I think it's time I cut to the chase. And let's open this bad boy. Together, all of us. Sorry for the warbly hands, the nicotine's kind of kicking in. <laughs> I do apologize. On the ground. Go, 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 go away. The box slides out of the sleeve. Ten hi fi. This is my very first time. Oh, look at that presentation. That is simple and gorgeous. Keep in mind, children, I actually own and bought of my own money from Amazon. Well, the cable, yes, 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 yes. This is a Yin Yu cable. One of the people, the 
that Yin uh, Lin Soul partner with, along with Kin Bufi, for in-ear monitor cables, terminated in uh, MMCX at two and a half millimeter, balanced. Wonderful, wonderful cables. The T2 are absolutely astonishing. These are not the stock tips. These are the uh, newbies that I had linked in my uh, Monoprice 9927 in-ear monitor review. But enough about those. Let's get into the P1s. Now, some people may be wondering why I wear gloves. It makes focusing on things like this a little bit easier. Gives you a better, gives me a better backdrop, so to speak. Full metal body. Some of their, ooh, really nice foams. And I've talked to Lillian about getting a pack of these uh, to be sold a la carte, or maybe in a, a big mega bundle. And hopefully we can come to an agreement somehow uh, so that people can get really good foam in ear tips. Uh, I will be, in my review, testing out a potential mod to increase the low frequencies by taping that with some medical tape or what have you to seal it off and give it a better uh, bass response or sub-bass response, as I believe the frequency response graphs have shown me. Oop. Looking to the viewfinder makes that quite hard. But full metal construction. Beautiful. Absolutely stunning. They look like little golf clubs. Drivers for my drivers. <laughs> oh god, I'm going to hell for that pun. Let's see if we can focus. There we go. All right. Sorry. Maximum file size exceeded. 10 Hi-Fi. www.10hifi.com. You can also go to Linsoul or Google them. This is the P1's carrying case. Ta-da. Oh, a gorgeous, gorgeous copper wire. Look at that. Man, YouTubers make this look really easy. It's actually kind of hard looking at it from the other direction. So it looks like in a little bit of a cost-saving effort, they didn't wind quite as many. And to be fair, for the cost of these, even without the discount, which was only 20 that's two zero dollars, paid for the express shipping and a little bit extra for the early bird discount. The part that's important is tightly woven, and the part that just kind of dangles there against your body is not as tightly woven, but it's still very quality. It may not look like it, but this still feels rather substantial. Beautiful three and a half millimeter single-ended termination here for the input and for the output to the in-ear monitors, you have metal jacketing, an MMCX connector, clear for the left, red indicator for the right, a memory uh, shrink sleeve, so that these can curl over the back of the ear, in between the cartilage ridge and the cranium. Beautiful cable. The hybrid cable of silver-plated copper and copper also has that memory uh, shrink sleeve on it. Same, similar metal jacketing. I believe they may have used a stainless or a polished aluminum over here and a matte or brushed finished aluminum. I believe they're both probably aluminum. If I'm not mistaken, I could be very wrong. Here we go, a full assortment of tips. Oh, look at that! Oh, I'll be damned! Are those... Those might very well be a smaller diameter. So, they actually gave us... Uh, the T102s did not come with additional foamy, so once you use them, because they are kind of consumable, so to speak. Oh, blimey. Beautiful. 
They gave us additional ones. These are equivalent to a large size. Same as the ones that come, uh, the blue ones that come with the 10 T2s, the T2 Pros, and the white colored ones with the T3. These are equivalent to a large on the newbie. Uh, would be it maybe one to two millimeters shorter. These are more equivalent to probably a medium, maybe a small, maybe. I'm going off of memory here, children. <clears throat> Let's move the box to the side and uh, be smart. Always close your knives safely when you're done with them, children. They're quite dangerous. Here we are. I'll probably use both foam tips to figure out which one gets a better seal. Uh, keep in mind, IEMs, or any or anything, typically can be made or broken depending upon the fit of the device within the ear canal. Oh, Lord, tips and chips galore, children. Oh, look at all the tips. Oh, yes. Sorry. Hedon, uh, uh, hedon hedonism bought it a little bit. Looks like these are all wide bore with a small lip on the inside, or a flange, rather, to grab on the lip of the nozzle of the IEM. I'm noting now that they must have used a different, uh, probably a gel memory foam mixture to make it a lot slower responding, which would probably make it much softer and put less pressure on the inner part of your ear canal, making it more comfortable and more form-fitting to your particular physiology, thus increasing the chance for a much, much superior fit. And looking at these, ah, yes, they certainly did. They included a wide bore outlet and a slightly smaller bore outlet. I do not know the measurements particularly at the moment, nor do I feel as if uh, quantifying them with my calipers is absolutely necessary. The odds of me using these are relatively low, but I will indeed endeavor to try them. However, if enough comments request, I would be more than happy to offer my own measurements of these with my calipers. Uh, the wide bores seem to be of the more uh, flared out variety on the little flange that suspends the nozzle of the IEM within the ear canal, whereas the thinner bore and I'm sure there's a technical term for it, has more of a, uh, mush, no, not mushroom, um, a more of a recessed flange design, a more of a curvature to it, uh, probably for different comfort levels or different isolation levels of the IEM itself. Lovely. Let's put these back in the bag. I'll be doing my initial first impressions with the foams. Just because I know those are going to make me happy, or at least the happiest. But it's nice to see they included a full set of small, medium, large in both a wide bore and a slightly thinner bore with a different contouring to the flange. Very thoughtful people. This should MSRP at a maximum of $200. I doubt it will ever see that price. Uh, I believe the decided upon MSRP should be about $170 US dollars. That. Yes! That is magnetic, children! No little springy bit in here, no! That is magnetic! Wonderful! You have the Tin Hi-Fi uh, brand name and logo embossed onto the leather. Beautiful construction. I'm going to get a better look at this behind the camera. Excuse me. Oh, it smells like 
Oh my god, Zeos was right. It smells like a pot shop on the inside. Some good old... Mmm. Greener smelling than Mexican skank weed, but... Oh, not as dank as the good stuff. Oh, not that I would... <laughs> Who am I getting? Of course I would know, back in my youthful days. Oh. Beautiful leather selection. I don't know if it's bovine or something different. Maybe servine? Uh, I don't know where the leather comes from. More than likely bovine, as that is relatively inexpensive to get in mass quantities and different finishes. Beautiful case. I agree with Zeus, and this is... Reinforced. I'm not sure with what exactly, either metal or heavy, heavy, heavy cardstock, or some type of wood. There's a little bit to give, but not a whole lot. Rather substantial sounding. Uh, that's just along the edges. The top and the bottom are soft, with a little, yes, a little bit of reinforcement of some kind on the inside. Let's see, what else is in the box? Nothing behind phone number one. Nothing behind... Oh, nope, that's a lie. There's a piece of paper behind phone number two. Uh, that is in Moonspeak. I do not speak that. Excuse me. Probably simplified Chinese. Oh, would you look at that? Uh, safety reminders, earphone guides, uh, let's see, product features, earphone burn-in process. Uh, let me read this, one moment. It's not actually difficult, but it takes time. First, you need to subject the earphones to long-duration audio playback. Second, the source must have a wide frequency range. The dynamic effects of clear, low, and high pitch components of music has better burn-in, or uh, working in, if you prefer that terminology, or break-in might be a more commonly used term in other facets of life, uh, burn-in uh, uh, burn -in effects. Another point is that the audio output power must be powerful enough in general suitable music players that the like is enough to drive and undergo burn-in effect for low-impedance headphones, of which these are not exactly low-impedance at 20 ohms, and I believe 93 or 96 uh, decibel sensitivity rating, so these are not going to be particularly efficient. Uh, right, continuing on. Let's see. For low-impedance earphones, Overall, subjecting the earphones to actual music use will allow the moving parts inside to adapt to its optimum performance. Think of it as stretching your muscle, but instead of your muscle, it's the diaphragm or the other articulating parts of the driver. Uh, terribly sorry for the dog. Oh, here we go. Uh, we have earphone check. Check if the earphone is broken or not. Hello, sweetheart. Uh, some uh, earphones may have mic controls. This does not, from what I've seen. You can buy them third party if you wish. I don't particularly like them. They have a tendency to add noise and extra meh to the sound. Yes, that's the technical term. Meh. Let's see. Driver unit is a 10, diam uh, 10 millimeter diameter planar magnetic drive, or driver. The 70 uh, sensitivity of 96 plus or minus 3 decibels at 1 kilohertz at 0 0.179 volts. So not terribly efficient, but not terribly inefficient. These aren't going to be uh, Forstex T50 RP Mark 3s or any derivative therein in terms of inefficiency, but awfully close. Uh, it seems to be an inherent quality of planar magnetic. We're at 27 minutes. So a new file should begin sometime soon, so if it cuts, terribly sorry if I'm not able to transition properly. I'll do my best to keep an eye on it. 
Should be able to finish this. A uh, frequency response range of 10 hertz to 40 kilohertz. Ooh, what do you know? It's Hydra's certified. Yay! Let's see. Rated power, 5 milliwatts. Max power, 10 milliwatts. Uh, for reference, that should be approximately 0 0.005 and 0 0.01 watts. Uh, max distortion at one, de uh, one decibel at one kilohertz, uh, 0 0.179 volts. That's not bad. Interface, gold-plated MMCX connector. And here's the warranty service. 12 months of free warranty service from the date of purchase of the tin Hi-Fi earphones. Provisions for the warranty, no warranty conditions. Wonderful. There we go. Relatively snug. It does have a perceptible left, so you know where to put this. The MMCX. Not the snappiest snap I've ever heard. Not the worst I've ever heard either. The right side most notably snaps a little bit more satisfyingly. Let's try the hybrid cable. They decided, aren't oh, they? Uh, Lillian decided to give to me. Now that is a snap. I've had some minor, very minor quality control issues with these particular MMCX connectors, at least with the stock cable. Oh boy, howdy. That is a very satisfying snap. Sorry, not focused. Mm. I will be back momentarily, children. Sorry for the length of the video. You will soon have my first impressions. Ready, set, and... No, no, no. Shit, how the 